Doesn't look like there's much uh, much swell out there. No, not much. I mean, I was just listening to it while I was sitting on the john. You, you can hear the waves, but yeah, pretty mellow. Nice sunny day on the water. Go see some cool rocks. Oh, hey there, big fella. Can you feel your fingers yet? Starting to. Getting there? You can, yeah, it's when they start to hurt, you know they're thawing out. Oh my god. Pretty puggy warm. <laughs> <laughs> I know my life is terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to kayak all the time, talk about gear all the time. It's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> There's like no be, wind. I'm not going to be doing anything. I was almost Pretty much no wind. I know this one's going to come up. Right so Maybe a little breezy <laughs> later. So it's going to be a blast. Yeah, it is gonna be a blast. Some sunny weather, some caves to check out. Okay. Cool. cool. You don't do vacation that much. Hey, I'm Lee Richardson. I'm gonna teach you about two rudders. The standard bow rudder and the cross bow rudder. The standard bow rudder I use for rock gardening, making quick turns. It blends right into a forward stroke really easily. It's kind of the go-to. Pretty easy to do, easy to get to. The cross bow rudder gives you a little bit more of a mechanical bind. It allows you to use your elasticity of your body to control the rudder. So if you have water coming at you and you open your blade, you can turn the boat really quickly. When I'm at Tillicum Narrows and I've got a wall beside me, I'll often use a cross bow to just pull me off the wall a little bit onto the eddy line so I can drop into the wave. The standard bow I'll use for just making quick little turns where I've got to make a forward stroke. These are two strokes that you should get out there and practice on flat water and have some fun with. They'll definitely advance your skills and make it you more comfortable in rough water. Get out there and get it done. I'm here at Jordan River. It's one of my favorite places to play. The reason this place is so special for sea kayakers is right behind me, there's a river. And this river pushes against the Pacific swell. 
and makes these nice steep waves for sea kayaks. They actually don't break over because of the current. Hey, my name is Eric Clark. I'm uh, from Victoria. Uh, I've been surfing here at Jordan River for about the last three and a half years. Uh, my favorite part about Jordan River is the variety of conditions that you can get. You can have days where you have soul surfing uh, runs in a sea kayak. You can have days that have, you know, uh, five to ten foot waves, which are a blast in the surf kayak. And probably the best part of Jordan River that I haven't seen in too many other places is the ability to go for, you know, minute long or more surfs. Uh, most places the surfs are a lot shorter than that, unless you're surfing at a standing wave like Skookum Chuck or uh, Surge Narrows or Okasolo. I've been surfing before, but never here. And I had a great morning. It was really fun. The waves were awesome. The sun was out and I got some good rides. Yeah, I learned a lot. I have a brand new boat that I'm paddling today and it worked out really well. I got pretty well acquainted with it and I'm already looking forward to coming back. It's a little bit more wide and stable than the sea kayaks I usually paddle in the surf. It's also shorter, so it's more maneuverable. I really like the current design Scala for this location. It's a very uh, short, hard chine kayak with a lot of rocker. It, it is very voluminous um, and it's very easy and nimble on the waves. Uh, I feel very agile in that kayak. How do you like the uh, NRS dry suit? I really like it. It's uh, it's very very well thought out with uh, the punch through neoprene covering the gaskets. Um, I like the new Goltex Pro most rocket membrane. Very, it feels very lightweight. I really like how they do um, no velcro either at the uh, wrists or the ankles here. A really helpful piece of kit is this NRS uh, paddle bag. It's, it's two sets of split paddles and it really extends the life of your paddles as you throw them in and out of the back of the trucks. Triple clips. Boom. Uh, this is great for going through airplane check baggage and as they toss it on the conveyor, it keeps everything in its place. How much does it weigh with all the uh, two paddles in it approximately? Oh, I'd say less than five pounds.
Basilica Narrows is one of my favorite places to play. It is culturally significant to the Coast Salish people. The Songhees and Esquimalt nations use the spot for celebrations. The rocky construction separates Portage Inlet from Victoria Harbour. The hourglass shape also has a rock right in the middle of it. Traditionally, that rock had the powers of Kumosun, a Songhees princess that was banished for being a picky eater. The Songhees tradition was that the rock gave people power they came and held that rock at fast flows. The longer you could hold on to the rock, the more power you've got. Sort of like when we're surfing. We are fighting to stay up there as long as we can. I hope you get a chance to come and play with us sometime.